Hi, my name is Chris Kuzmi. I am a longtime member and current president of the New York City Home Brewers Guild. Been home brewing since about 2001, and I love it. I'm a crazy addicted to it, and I'm happy to share it with you today. I'm also part of the New York City Degustation Advisory Team, which I formed with my partner Mary Izet, nycdat.com, and I'll be showing you how to homebrew today. Cheers. Porters were the beer that the porters drank in England uh, in the late 18th century, and basically it was a mix, it was a blend. They would go to the bar and they would ask for a blend of everything they had on tap. So stout is used as an adjective, or was used as an adjective for, for strong porters. And about 18, 14, 1817, they invented a kilning machine that kilned at high temperatures. What is kilning? Kilning is what we, how we create the different flavors of malt to barley. Um, and kilning, basically if you heat it at high temperatures for a long period of time, you'll get dark roasted meat, roasted notes. Um, there's, a, there's a reaction called the Maillard reaction, um, which is the same thing when you toast bread when you roast, that's what's happening basically. It's, a, it's between enzymes and reducing sugar, uh, getting you to get color and flavor compounds from that. It's beautiful, it's a wonderful thing. It's what makes the beers different beers that they are. That said, created this patent for a black patent malt. It was this crazy kilning machine and started using that the, the, the malted barley from that to make porters and stouts, but to a larger degree, the stouts. And so now, according to the Beer Judge Certification Program, porters won't use roasted barley, but stouts will use roasted barley. However, in commercial examples, they cross the line a lot. Like, I think it comes down to the brewer's decision whether or not to call it a porter or a stout. To me, they're equally popular. I love porters, love stouts, and I think they are wonderful when pairing with with uh, roasted meats and barbecue and, uh, and just general, general quaffability. It's one of my favorite beers.